another video by your favorite cousin Tisa Tierra. So today is a Thursday and we are headed to the gas station first. Then we went to the grocery store. Then we gotta go drop off the groceries. Then we gotta get ready for work. We just got stuff to do. <laughs> We got stuff to do today. Um, but I just wanted to come on here and say hello. We are in December and I hope that you guys are as excited as I am about December. I am going to be so busy <laughs> for December, but it's okay. I welcome it with open arms and um, I'm ready to go into the new year and i don't know i'm just i'm ready i'm i'm ready i'm ready for my birthday okay aquarius gang in the building january 27th if you are an aquarius a baby drop your birthday because hey it's almost time y'all ready <laughs> it's almost time for us, what they like to call us, us mean, insensitive, non-emotional as Aquarius, this, this, this. And what y'all doing for your birthday? Me and the ladies are supposed to be going on a camping trip for my birthday. So, I don't know, let's see. Okay y'all, so I just left Publix. I mean, not Publix, I'm at Publix. I went to the grocery store. I dropped the groceries off. I went to the bank. Now I'm in Publix because I'm getting hungry. But I told y'all I'm trying to eat right. So, and I wanted a, I wanted a salad from Chick Fil A. But I was like, instead of me getting a chair of salad from Chick Fil A, why don't I just get a salad? I guess we can try this. Okay, so we got this. It is a premium Hawaii poke bowl. It's shrimp and crab. And it has 640 calories. Now, you're only supposed to intake about, about, um, I say for a woman, it's not even, it's not even 1200 calories a day. I mean, it's not even 2000 calories a day. So I can eat my popo. And then I'm gonna watch football later. And since I'm gonna watch football later, I want a parfait, but I don't see no. They got like a strawberry and blueberry. Something told me to go to the one by my house. Cause now I'm confused. I'll still get one for Ashley. And then that way she can kind of decide whether or not she want one or not. I have my little poke bowl. She does have like Lunchables or the kids, they got Lunchables and stuff like that at home. I guess we just get what we got <laughs> and go on about our business. I'm excited to eat that for lunch. Yeah, I've never had it before. And even though it's like 600 and something calories, I know I'm not gonna eat all of it. Uh oh, excuse me. I know I'm not gonna eat all of it, so. I don't think I'm gonna eat all of it. I'm not even gonna say I'm full out, not gonna eat all of it. I'm gonna say I don't think I'm gonna eat all of it. Hey y'all, so today is, or good morning. And today is Friday. And um, we just came from dropping the girls off at school. We got a definite late start today. Actually, it was like an hour late for school today, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, we had a late start today. I don't know if I was like sleeping on my phone so my alarm didn't go off because my alarm is set to go off at six o'clock every morning <clears throat> or every weekday morning and I didn't hear it at all at all so I'm like I must have been laying on it because even when I got up and checked my phone my phone wasn't dead and it still had the six o'clock in the morning alarm on so I'm like maybe I just was laying on it because I ain't no way I was that and Ashley came in my room and woke me up. She tapped me and she was like, Mommy. She was like, I think I'm late for school. <laughs> and I looked at my phone and I was like, shit. Yeah, babe. You missed your bus. But it's okay. I just 
and went into everybody get up. I didn't go into like panic mode because usually y'all, I would jump out the bed and I'm like, oh my God, everybody get up. Get up y'all, we gotta go. We running late, actually late for school. Come on. Not today. That was like, all right. These are the cards we're dealt this morning. Okay. Well y'all, let's just make sure the house is clean before you leave. <laughs> that was pretty much my mindset. So this morning, because this this is the weekend. Y'all know some weekends or every other weekend my kids are gone. So I was like, we gotta get this house straight. Uh, above all else, if we're late, we're late. There's nothing we can do about the time. But what we're not about to do is be late. And the house is dirty when y'all leave for the weekend. Leaving me to clean up the whole house. No way, Jose. No, ma'am, Pam. So, and they cleaned the car out. I made them clean the car out, too. They was out here with the trash bag and all kind of shit, cleaning the car out and everything. Because I'm like, nah. Nah, slim. But anyway, we are getting ready to go to the bank. That's where we're headed right now. Because... I've been saying that I was gonna open up this business bank account for so long for Color Me Cute, and I just never did. So that's what we're doing this morning. I'm like, girl, first of all, we're not going into January with no mess. We're going into January with our ducks in a row, with our shit together, period. So that's what we're doing. Um, that's exactly what we're doing. I'm not bushy. And I haven't had a uh, Color Me Cute has not had its own bank account since uh, I left Chase. And I left Chase in the summer. I don't even think it was the summertime. It might have still been May. Because that was when I went to that Jeezy concert. Either way it go, it's long overdue. It's supposed to have been done. So we're getting it done today. Then we're gonna go back home, we're gonna clean up, and we're just gonna get focused on work. Because for the past two days, I have not been focused at all. I fell off the focus bandwagon on Wednesday, and then I was not focused on yesterday either. So I'm trying to gain my focus back and build my momentum now. So I want to wait until Monday to build my momentum. But anyway, y'all, no more rattling, rambling, and all that shit. I mean, not rattling. We're not a car. Rambling. No more rambling. We're going to the bank. We done on the inside of the bank. And I just went to the ATM to put some money on the inside. I mean, to deposit some money real quick. And um, we gotta come back. We gotta, oh, I got the hiccup. We have to schedule an appointment. No, first I gotta go do something with the Secretary of State. And then I have to um, make an appointment and come back. So she was saying that the Secretary of State had dissolved the business. Um, which means I have to go back and pay your Secretary of State. So you have to pay your Secretary of State every year. I didn't pay my Secretary of State this year. Um, so I got to go online when I get home. I got to go online, pay the Secretary of State. And then after I pay the Secretary of State, I have to wait for that to, um, like wait for that to kick into the system. And then come back up here so that's what we gotta do which is fine as long as we have a step in the right direction like I'm not tripping I'm bummed out about it I am bummed out about it a little bit or whatever because I, it's something that I just wanted to get done and get out the way but at the same time I'm like this is why you have to take care of your shit <laughs> this is why you have to take care of your business literally take care of your business because now there's a hindrance. It's not a big hindrance, but a hindrance nonetheless. All right, so now we are at the car wash. 
because the car needs to be washed. The car has not been washed in a while. And if I don't wash it now, ain't no telling when I'm gonna wash it because it's supposed to rain. It's forecasted to rain next week for like five days. Bag lady, you gonna miss your bus. Dragging all them bags like that. I guess nobody ever told you how you must hold on to. Is you, is you, is you. One day, he gon' say, you crowd in my space. Ah, one day, he gon' say, you crowd in my space. So, pack like, who, who. Sometimes it's hard when you can let go. Trying to handle big back, big trying to handle big black long things is a goddamn chore child. Woo! I'm glad we done. Now let's get out of here. Let's go home. The car is semi-situated. We got us a little for breeze. So. <coughs> car is semi-situated. We got us a little for breeze car thing in the vent. It's oh now we gotta get our brakes done. Not today. All right, y'all. So we're back home. Um, I made a stop at the gas station. I'm in such a good fucking mood. And not only am I in a good mood, me, God, my ancestors, and the universe just got done having a conversation where I wasn't asking for anything. You know, I just wanted to tell all of them, thank y'all for everything that you do because y'all know me i love when i'm able to pay all of my bills that just does something to me because as a single mother with four kids and this high ass rent and all of these bills and all of this lifing that i do it's just it's just always amazing to know that i have a home to come home to y'all because we take certain shit like this for granted there's people out here who have not paid their rent yet there's people out here who know that their rent is not even going to be in by the fifth and this is also the month of christmas and you know depression is really big during this time of the month or this time of the year and everything so it's just i'm just forever grateful i'm so fucking forever grateful like i i, I can't say it enough i can't um life is good life is good i'm happy and i hope that y'all are happy and i hope that my feelings if you're not in like the best mood right now i hope that my gratitude kind of like spills over to you because you have something in your life to be happy about there's something okay something you have a car your kids are healthy um i don't know you bought a christmas tree already your man is good to you there's food in your refrigerator you have gas in your car even if you're down to your last, your gas, your car has gas on it. And one thing about me that I learned from when I was younger, when I moved like out of my mama house and I wasn't staying with my baby daddy no more and stuff like that. I didn't even have kids at the time, but I was by myself. 
And one thing that I realized in life was, as long as I got food and as long as I got gas in my car, I'm good. I'm good. And I know some of y'all might be like, girl, no, as long as my bills are paid and da 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 da. But hear me out. If I had food in my house, and then hit, man, this is the struggle. Thank God I didn't have no kids. I was working at a store called Athlete's Foot. If you're not sure what Athlete's Foot is, it's like, it's like a Champs or a Foot Locker or, you know, something like that. So, I guess you could say Foot Locker is the closest thing to what Athlete's Foot used to be. But they got bought out or I don't know what happened. But um, they used to be all over the place here in Atlanta. Athlete's Foot was like that store. So, um, I used to work there. Y'all, my checks would be under $200. I had checks that were under $200, but I did get paid every week. But still, $200 every week, that's $800 a month. Like, what the fuck are you really doing with that? But it was kind of different then, in a sense, because bills wasn't what they are today. Like, I think me and my sister rent was like $550 or like $600 or $625 or something like that. Um, But anyway, I taught myself, or what I realized was, as long as I have food, and I have a full tank of gas or at least gas money, which I would try, back then I would keep my gas money in my car because that was my way of saying, okay, I'm not touching this, this is strictly for gas. So I would put my, my gas money in my car or whatever. Back then I could fill my car up on $20. That's when I could fill my car up on $20. So I would make sure that I had like $40 for the week. So yeah, I would um, make my battery had one dead. But I mean, I needed to erase some space, but anyway. So yeah, I'll make sure I had gas in my car and I would spend $20 on groceries for the week. $20. I would buy me some sandwich meat, I would buy me a loaf of bread, I would buy me a box of cereal, I would buy me some milk, I would buy me some noodles, and I would buy me like a bag of chips so that I could have sandwiches, and then I would buy me a thing of juice. Also back then, this is when groceries was way cheaper than what it was. You could get you an off-brand box of cereal for a dollar from Kroger. Milk was like a dollar and 99 cent for a gallon. Um, bread, a dollar. Sandwich meat, I would get for like two dollars. A bag of chips, like two dollars. But anyway, long story short, I learned that if I had food and I had gas, I was good. The reason I made sure I had gas, because if I got gas in my car, I can make it on the way to get money. You ain't got no gas in your car, you how you can't even get to the money. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of where the money is. If a nigga say, I got $40, come get it. You don't got no gas in your car, you can't even get there. You know what I'm saying? So, I made sure I had gas in my car, just in case shit. If I need to go get some money or whatever, at least I got gas in my car to go get it, and I got food. Everything else, I can figure that shit out. So, if you got gas in your car and you got food, you can figure everything out. Okay? If you got the gas money, you can go get some money. You just got to figure out how to get the money. But if you got the car, you got the gas, you good. Anyway, long story short, there's always something to be grateful for. So pick something that you're grateful for if you're struggling right now and fuel off of that. Get yourself in a good vibrational place, man. Good vibrations is everything. I ain't finna preach. This I already been talking for six minutes and I ain't trying to turn it into one of these videos. But I don't know, y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all so much. I really do. But um, let's get... I need to plan out my day because my day is not planned out and it's what 10 11 o'clock so that's not good um but i need to plan out my day i need to turn some music on i need to get my life together 